Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're a Samsung user, you're in for a treat because today we're diving deep into some of the coolest and smartest features from One UI 7 and upcoming One UI 8. From advanced AI tricks to productivity hacks, Samsung's pushing boundaries and every update. And we're breaking it all down for you in this detailed video. So before we start, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's hit our goal of 500 likes on this video. And also drop a comment telling me which feature you're most excited to try about. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you have My Files, which organizes your files by categories. The My Files app is getting seriously smarter. So instead of just showing you folders and file types, it now categorizes files based on where they came from. So whether that's WhatsApp downloads, camera, or even cloud storage, it intelligently recognizes files origin and groups it automatically. So you never have to wonder where did this file come from? So let me show you how to see this. So here we'll go ahead and open up my files. Now in my files, you want to go ahead and go to your downloads. So as you can see, these are all my downloaded files. However, at the top here, you have categories. So you see Chrome, Drive, Gmail, Outlook, NHS app, Galaxy Variable, email, Galaxy Enhance, my files, and so on. So if I go ahead and tap on any of them, this will basically change according to where the origin of that file is from. So for example, this picture here, I've taken it from Google Chrome, so it'll be under the Chrome category. If I go to Drive, these are all whatever is in Drive. If I go onto the NHS app, this is what is all on the NHS app. If I go to Samsung Notes, these are all on Samsung Notes. I go to Galaxy Variable, go to Emails, we go to Galaxy Enhance X, My Files, Samsung Internet. So this way you have smarter organization, so no more endless scrolling through random folders. Your files are automatically grouped. You have faster access, so you quickly jump to the WhatsApp document, camera photos, or download files with one tap. And this is like cross app sorting. So it keeps track of files from different sources like social medias or cloud drives. Feature number two is where you can add items to photos using sketch to image. So this is one of the most exciting AI powered creative tool in One UI 8. The sketch to image feature lets you draw or sketch on a photo and Samsung's AI will intelligently transform your rough sketch into a realistic image. So if you wanna add a missing object to your photo or picture, just draw it and AI will fill in the details as if it was already there. So as an example, we'll go ahead and open up gallery we'll go ahead and open up a picture. So for example, this one here. So let's just say I want to add some sunglasses to this picture here. So using Galaxy AI, I'll go ahead and tap on Galaxy AI at the bottom. Now at the bottom, I'll go ahead and switch this over to sketch to image. Now I'll go ahead and zoom in and let's go ahead and add some glasses right at the top of our head here. Now I'll tap on generate. Now Galaxy AI will recognize that and will transform it into some sunglasses. So it's basically recognized as a hairband. Let's try again one more time. And there you go. So as you can see, some glasses has been drawn onto the person here. So the first attempt was basically a hairband. However, in my second attempt, when the drawing got a bit better, it basically recognized it as a glasses. So with this, you have creative freedom. So it enhances your photo with new elements and that blends seamlessly into the scene. You have AI precision. So even a rough doodles are turned into lifelike results using the Samsung's generative AI. This is perfect for social media and no need for any external apps. Feature number three is your circle to search feature. So straight from Google's genius integration, circle to search is now baked into one UI. So you can simply circle anything on your screen, an image, text, or product and it instantly gets Google search results without switching apps. So this is intuitive, fast, and works anywhere from social media to chat apps and even on your camera. So here is an example. We'll go ahead and open up this app, Redmi, and let's just go ahead and just find something. So let's say ahead and Google about these phones here. So I wanna go ahead and find out more about this phone. Now the old way of doing this is by taking a screenshot and then going ahead and taking it into Google. However, you can go ahead and long press on your home screen, go ahead and circle it. This will now ask the internet, what is this all about? So this will basically give you all the results. So currently it's on all. However, you can go ahead and ask about this image. What phone is this? 
and I'll tell you what phone it is. So it's a Pixel 10 and the other phone is the iPhone. Let's go ahead and try this in camera. I want to find out what this item is. I'll circle it. And as you can see, it's found it. It's a DJI Mic 2. For those of you who are not getting the circle to search, you can go ahead and enable this by going into settings. You want to go ahead and scroll down and find display. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find navigation bar. From here, you want to find circle to search. Now you want to go ahead and make sure this is enabled. So to activate it, just touch and hold the home button if you have the normal navigation bar or the navigation handle to search using the content on your screen. So as you can see, this is like seamless multitasking. No need to copy, paste, or switch apps. You have instant answers. Identify people, places, products, or even text instantly. You have a universal functionality, and this saves time as you cut down multiple steps into one smoother gesture. Feature number four is your predictive back gesture. So Samsung's predictive back gesture is one of those small changes that make a huge difference. Now, when you swipe back, your phone previews where that gesture will take you, whether it's existing app or going to a previous screen or closing a menu. So no more accidental exits. So let me show you how to turn it on and how to use it. So predicted back gestures won't work on these button navigation bar. You need to go ahead and change this into a swipe gesture. So first we'll go ahead and do that, go into settings, scroll down, find display, scroll down, find navigation bar. Now switch over to swipe gesture. Now, once that's done, you want to go back to your menu. In your settings menu, go ahead and open up the advanced features. Now, from here, you want to tap on labs. And here, you want to go ahead and find the back swipe preview. So this is what it's called. So this will show you a preview of screen you'll go back to when you start swiping from the edge of the screen. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So now once that's done, you wanna go ahead and try it out. So, so for example, if I go into connections, if I go ahead and swipe from the edge of the screen, you'll see that this is giving me a preview of the back gesture. So this is basically telling me which menu I'm gonna end up to if I complete this gesture. So you have a visual feedback, you have smarter navigation, it's like a fluid transition, so you feel smoother and more responsive thanks to One UI's refined animation, and it's basically user-friendly. So this is perfect for both new and power users who rely on gestures daily. Feature number five is your adaptive clock. So your clock wallpaper just got personal. So the adaptive clock wallpaper dynamically changes its style, color, and layout based on the wallpaper or theme, or even the time of the day. So it's a visually stunning touch that adds depth and harmony to your lock screen experience. So this adaptive clock basically adapts to a person or an animal. So here is an example. We'll go ahead and set a wallpaper. We'll go ahead and set this to this person here. We'll set this as a wallpaper for our lock screen. Now, since we are in our lock screen customization, you can go ahead and tap on your clock. Here in font and color, you wanna go ahead and choose the second option, which will show you the adaptive clock. So as you can see on your screen, it's already started to adapt. You can go ahead and choose the automatic color. So this is like the color adapted from the wallpaper. So it will match the wallpaper. Go ahead and increase the size. So as you can see, wherever I move this clock, it's basically adapting to the wallpaper. It's trying not to hide the wallpaper. Let's go ahead and try this on a dog or something else. So as you can see, your clock is basically adapting to this dog over here and trying not to cover it. Now you can go ahead and choose this adaptive clock or you have another style as well, which basically is a portrait version of it. However, the most popular one is this option here. Once that's done, press done. And your wallpaper has been set now. So we'll just go ahead and look at this. So this gives a dynamic aesthetic on your wallpaper. So the clock adapts to the subject in your wallpaper. It enhances personalization, which basically matches your mood or wallpaper. It's battery friendly, so it's designed efficiently to maintain battery performance. And you have a smart transition as well. Feature number six is where you have background with frames. So Samsung brings creativity to wallpapers with background with frames. So this allows you to add an artistic frame or layered effects to your photos or lock screen background, creating a 3D-like or a cinematic look. So whether you prefer a minimal outline or a bold frame, it turns your wallpaper into a work of art. So here we'll go ahead and choose a wallpaper. So for example, let's go ahead and choose this person here. We'll go ahead and set this as our wallpaper. We'll go ahead and set this for our lock screen for now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose frame from the bottom. So as you can see, this basically gives you a 3D effect. So you have a background. However, the frame has recognized the subject and it's basically given you a 3D effect. So you can basically 
change it around. If you don't like this, let's go ahead and choose another one. Now again, I'll go ahead and choose frame. And now I can go ahead and choose my background. And here now I can go ahead and choose my frames. So as you can see, this person is basically popping out of the frame. So this gives you a custom aesthetic. It gives a depth effect. So you're adding dimensions, making a wallpaper feel more dynamic. And this is perfect for portraits. So it works beautifully with personal or portrait pictures. And also it blends in with your theme. Feature number seven is where you can pin screenshots using AI Select. So you, did you ever want to keep some important information visible while multitasking? The new pin screenshot with AI Select feature lets you pin part of a screenshot, like a tracking number, a code, or a text to your screen while you're using other apps. So the AI even detects the most relevant content to pin automatically. So here in an example, we'll go ahead and open up Internet Browser, and we'll just go ahead and search for a product. So let's just say I'm trying to buy a S25 Ultra, and I wanna go ahead and pin this item here. So to pin this, I can go ahead and open my Edge panel, AI Select. I'll go ahead and make a box around this, or a circle, and then I'll tap on Pin. So now this will basically pin this item here. Now I can go ahead and open up Amazon Shopping, and I can go ahead and search for the same item here, S25 5G. So now I can go ahead and compare the item which I've pinned versus what I'm looking at in the background here on Amazon app. If there are certain things which I cannot find, I can use a text tool to copy anything I like from here. I can go ahead and download this to my gallery if I need this later on. I can go ahead and minimize this for now. Just leave it to the side while I browse. Or if I'm done with this screenshot, I can go ahead and tap on the X and this will completely remove it from your screen. Do note, it doesn't save it in your gallery as a screenshot. This is just a temporary screenshot. So this basically boosts your productivity. You keep info visible without switching back and forth. You have effortless multitasking, so it works seamlessly across all the apps. And this is like a time saver, so it's, it's great for online orders, OTPs, or addresses. And this turns your phone into a smart companion that helps you stay efficient and focused. And that wraps up our breakdown of One UI 7 and One UI 8 smartest and most powerful features. From AI creativity to smoother navigation, Samsung's clearly focused on making your phone more personal, intelligent, and intuitive than ever before. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and let's reach a goal of 500 likes. Comment below which feature impressed you the most. Was it sketch to image, circle to search, or the new adaptive clock? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.